Hey folks, welcome to this look at uh, Worldographer and one of the features of Worldographer. I'm Joe Watson, the creator of the program. What you see in front of you is a world map um, drilled down to the continent level just to show a little bit more detail um, that we've created in, in Worldographer. We went out to uh, a government agency website and got all of the shoreline and river data and imported that into the program and then we looked at a number of maps to kind of figure out, especially at the world level, uh, let me bounce out to the world level, um, figure out what the predominant terrain is for each hex there, and and then had the program kind of drill down and pull up um, the continent level. We did a little bit of refinement of things so that it wouldn't be quite so, um, so uniform. Uh, you can see like this, this hex area here where we kind of went through and decided, hey, well, let's make the Rocky Mountains, you know, half into, or not half, but a third of the way into this hex and so forth. So so we did a little bit of that, but but probably not enough. Uh, so if you wanted to refine that, you certainly can. But the main point of the video that I'm going to show you here is how to um, cut this map down if you just want to focus in on a certain area. You're certainly welcome to work with the whole world level map. Uh, the whole continent level map of the whole world, I should say, or or work with it at the, on the world level if you prefer. Um, we have this available on our website. If you go to uh, worldographer.com and go to examples and sh um, uh, world kingdom maps in the examples, then you'll have this is the just you know showing just the North America region. Um, and then you can click this link to get the file, and that will give you, uh, then you can open that up, and that will give you this. Um, so uh, how are we going to cut this map up? Well, first of all, we do have to bounce out to the world level. So this is a pro feature in Worldographer to be able to switch map levels, as well as to, to cut down the map. Um, so you're going to need the pro version to do that. But say for the sake of argument that we just wanted to do some, you know, we have an African campaign. We only want Africa for some reason, or even you can even do this for a particular country. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn on the numbers so that you can see the numbers. And of course, zoom in because that's, those numbers are way too small. And we can see that, you know, Africa basically starts at, at the 50th hex over. Now these are zero based, so that's actually, you know, the 51st hex, if you will. Um, and what we'll do then, based on that, is we're going to come up to the tools. We go to uh, expand, shrink, columns, and rows. And I'm going to subtract out 48, because I want to give a little bit of a buffer. Um, if we make a mistake with this, undo is not available to us. So we're going to have to, you know, have, work, go back to the original file. Maybe you want to make a copy of it once, you, once you've got things size the way you want so that you can go from there but we can hit OK on that dialog. I guess I could have scrolled that dialog over so that the whole thing uh, would record for you. So let me just pull this back up just to show you the rest of the dialog. But you saw the mo most of it already. So now that that's been cut and this this window here refreshes every couple of minutes you can see now We've got, you know, our Africa now starts at hex two, which is, you know, the third column over. Um, and then we want to cut away the top, you know. So likewise, you know, here we've got the tenth hex down, essentially, or no, sorry, uh, the the fifteenth hex down, essentially. So I think we can cut fourteen of them because that's going to get us to here, essentially. So let's go ahead and go to tools and let's cut. 14 by putting in negative 14 here. <clears throat> Hit OK. You can see it slid up some. And uh, there you go. There's your top of your map. You still have a little bit of a silhouette because when it cuts the shape, it, it likewise is giving a little bit of a buffer. Um, so you can see that we've got that. And then we can cut over on the side here. You know, this here ends at the 23rd hex over, which is the 24th, and we get to um, 63, it looks like. So we can probably cut 40, but just to be safe, I'm going to cut, say, 36 and see where that goes. Uh, so let's go to 
this and cut the right margin and set this to 36, negative 36. Um, and that does give us, you know, hey, maybe I'm going to leave it like that because I want all of um, uh, all of the Arabian Peninsula on my map. Uh, maybe I don't, maybe I do. Um, if I didn't want it, you know, I could probably safely, I, I could safely cut one, two, three, I guess four more. Let's scroll down. Yeah, I get, well, it depends on if you want these little islands as part of Africa or not. Um, but we're going to just leave it at it like that. And then how far down do we want to go? You know, so we've got all the way down to the 21st, uh, which is, again, the 22nd. Uh, these were zero based. And the map goes all the way down to the 37. So, uh, you know, 38 minus 22 leaves us with uh, 16, if my math is right. So we could safely cut 16. I'm going to go with 14 again, just because I'm erring on the side of caution, and, you know, I can always cut two more pretty easily. So we cut 14 there, and that brings us down like that. And I'm going to leave it like that. You know, I'm going to give that extra little bit of buffer. So this is how you can cut up a world map in Worldographer. Um, and then... You know, instead of bouncing down to the continent level map, you're actually going to need to uh, regenerate that level. So you're going to want to go to, because it, it's, well, it's only cutting from the world level. So we're going to have to go to uh, <clears throat> delete map level. And we're going to say that we want to delete the continent level. Hit OK. Then we can go to regenerate map level. And we're going to... Regenerate based on the world, and we're going to create the continent. Hit OK. Then it's asking us, hey, how many hexes per hex in the parent do you want to cross? A lot of people like to do a six, uh, six to one kind of ratios, especially if you want to get, you know, this can get into a whole nother video to be honest, but, um, you know, you could do uh, six mile hexes, uh, so then you would have 36 at at the continent level to have six mile hexes at the kingdom level, and then you have, you know, approximately 216 mile hexes at the world level, which is kind of how we built this. Again, because of map projections and stuff like that, the further you get away from the equator, the for, further that gets off, and we even kind of balanced it out. I think at the equator, it's a little bit narrower knowing that, you know, we were trying to uh, make things as even as possible throughout the world as much as possible, so I think that the 216 mile hex scale was more at the, somewhere in the 30 to 40 degrees area, north and south latitudes. Um, so we're going to go with six here, uh, just for the sake of argument, and that creates this map here. Uh, I'll zoom out so you can see a little bit more of it. Now here, this is something where you would then go through some massaging process, is the way I think of it is, you know, of course, you know, your uh, forest terrain doesn't have a hex shape overall to it, so, you know, you can come into the terrain window here and get some, um, you know, I like to, I have, I have my favorites set. You can right click any of these to add them to your favorites or remove them from your favorites. Um, but you know, so you can just fill in, I didn't mean to do heavy, just fill in some of those. Uh, so they don't get such a, so that, so this level doesn't look so <laughs> naturally hex shaped. Um, so there you have it. Uh, that's, that's the gist of what you would want to do to trim a world map, trim that world map that we have available. We also have an ISO, icosahedral projection version of that on the website too. Um, but if you wanted a flat projection, um, then this is the one to, to grab, and then you can trim it down and, uh, and then you know go and create this continent level and kind of massage these uh, a little bit, look at your reference maps, and figure out, hey, yeah, this desert maybe goes a little bit further down here, so you can cut that away. And same thing with these hills, and then you can come into um, uh, come into the mountains, and you can expand them out a little bit here, maybe. You know, I'm just, I don't have a good idea of Africa's uh, terrain, uh, so I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what you could do. Uh, so.
you can find some reference material for that. And you can do the same thing with, you know, different parts of Asia or different countries. Uh, it's up to you. Um, but hopefully this is useful to you if you're looking to make kind of a historical campaign map. Uh, again, you can work with the whole world map if you prefer, or you can kind of narrow it down a little bit if, um, if that would suit your purpose a little bit better. So I hope that's helpful to you, and uh, again, hope that you'll uh, you know, subscribe to us and, and like our posts and so forth. That really does help us out uh, to kind of get other people interested in the software that we make. Thanks a bunch.